observations of man are correct or incorrect, it makes little difference to us. That's not the issue here. It is the philosophy which has developed over the ages that we're looking at, that we want to comprehend and study and use as comparing with our own lives. Sometimes this philosophy is submerged. Sometimes it's oppressed. Sometimes it preserves in secrets by monks and ancient scribes. This is what links Freemasonry to the time immemorial that is mentioned in our rituals. The 5,000 years of thought that has been preserved and it has been bequeathed to us today, right now, in Freemasonry for our consideration and meditation. There may yet come a day, even in the United States, when the freedoms of thought, religion, opinion, and speech will be suppressed again. Let's hope not, but it could be. Freemasonry could become suppressed, but let's hope not. We fight to preserve everyone's right of freedom of speech and thought and intellectual development and spiritual improvement and cultural and financial gains. Freemasonry fights for the freedom of mankind. That's our philosophy. We may well become the keepers of the culture that is suppressed as Freemasons. In our modern age of acquisition of power, wealth, and the denigration of the intellect, I would encourage every Mason to embark upon the way less traveled, to discover knowledge and insights of his own. And therein is the power of Freemasonry.